lit. Yeah, yeah. every day we lit. Yeah, you can't tell me. Yeah, remember? Okay. So after, I, I'm a little lost because after watching the Grammys yesterday, I know it's not everyone. I realized something. More people, not saying that the song is bad, more people care about. First off, if you don't know what I'm talking about, if you didn't see the Grammys yesterday, go check them out. Shout out to the Grammys. Shout out to ABC. I think it was filmed on. Shout out to whatever um, TV networks it was filmed on last night or whenever you're watching this Sunday night. Shout out to everyone that was there, everyone that performed. You guys did an amazing job. But after Song of the Year, I stopped watching because I was a little triggered myself if you're a big fan of Logic like I am. I mean, I have a hoodie and some other Logic stuff. But anyway, turned on the Grammys kind of midway through and Song of the Year was on. I, I'm hype, you know. I think everybody, the album was up for Best Album of the Year. 1-800 obviously was up for Song of the Year along with two other songs that no one's ever heard of. Despacito, whatever that means in Spanish. And that's what I like by Bruno Mars. I'm waiting to hear the results. I hear, I see the nominees. I see the first two songs. And they're by some, like, wannabe Katy Perry or something. I, I, I don't know. Despacito, that's what I like. And 1-800 are the only songs I realize on Song of the Year. And... I'm thinking to myself, where did these other two songs come from? But th but that's not the point. That's not the point. The point is that 1-800 didn't win. 1-800 didn't win. Oh my gosh. 1-800 is the most real, most sad but energetic, most, 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 how do I say it? The best song of the year, and it lost. A Bruno Mars! I know, I know, a lot of you are thinking if you didn't watch the Grammys, how could that be? How could a song about such a real topic in today's society that no one cares about, which is my next point, that no one cares about, be defeated by waking up in no pajamas? Really? How, how? I'm lost in words right now. I really can't. Th which leads me to my next point. Do people really care more about Bruno Mars than actual world problems? I mean, really, is it me or is it anybody else? Song of the Year should have been 1 800. And if I was Bruno Mars, first off, no disrespect to Bruno Mars. All right. He's what, 32, 33, doing his thing right now, sitting back making millions, working his butt off, making good music. But really, I hate to say it, and that's what I like is a good song. I, I, I love the song. I, I love the gist of the song. You know, I love the beat. But let's, if we're being 100% honest here, 1-800 easily should have won. Uh, okay, aside from Song of the Year, aside from Song of the Year, this is kind of another logic topic that I don't really need to be bringing up. But it's kind of weird because I haven't really seen him like this. Logic got his hair cut, you know, that, that's all I had to say on that. He looks good. You know, I saw him and his wife there, you know, they look good. Um, his haircut's nice and fresh. You know, his 1-800 performance was amazing. He obviously did a speech again um, at the end. So, you know, that 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 just made it three times better. Which is why I should have won Song of the Year! Hey, um, they had some opera singer there. Or whatever. I forget who it was. I know there was like Elton John. I saw Elton John perform with Miley Cyrus. And I guess Miley, not to be rude, has stopped smoking whatever she's been on lately. Because she seems to have turned her life around. But aside from that, there was some opera singer there breaking every window in my house. I'm upstairs in my room watching 
this opera singer sing my eardrums literally out of my ears and on to my pillows. And if you don't know who's talking, that was my mom. All right, but my eardrums were out of my ears. I can't hear anymore. I'm not saying that she did bad, you know. I I think opera's cool, but I mean, when, when you're how many states across the country for me and you're breaking windows in my house, there's an issue. That leads me to the last point. And correct me if I'm wrong. And I really like this guy because I watch his carpool karaoke videos with all the superstar idiots or smart people that he has on there. I guess the main host was James Cordo or Cor Gordon, right? Did I say that right? James Gor 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 Gordon. I like James Corden. You know, his carpool karaoke things are cool. I, you know, he was in the Rewind of 2017, I think. And a lot of people are upset about that because they're trying to fight. Why would you promote dancing and driving? What's wrong with dancing and driving? I mean, unless you're a bad driver. Like, some people, not some people. I mean, there are some drivers now here's the wall and they're just going back and forth with their car acting like they haven't woken up yet but or they're trying to escape the apocalypse or something trying to break through Trump's wall but anyway James Cordo was on it Gordon was on there and I guess he was the main host or whatever I don't know why I'm bringing him up I guess I'm just saying that he did a good job but I mean he really did and I guess he was the main host or something because on like 10 of the awards that they were giving out or however many it was he was the main one I mean but let's recap the Grammys real quick some of the awards were rigged that's what I like should have came in a close second Miley Cyrus congratulations for her you must have just gotten sober for the past two months Elton John did good. I like his blue sunglasses. Those blue sunglasses were good. Elton, if, if you're watching this, even though I know you're not, you hit me, up, hit me up with some shades because I know you have enough of them. And Logic's haircut was nice. And James Cor Cor Gordon did pretty good. That's my recap of the 2018 Grammys. That's what I saw. I saw a bit of Kendrick Lamar's performance. I it, it, it was actually pretty good. All of his performances are pretty good. Oh god. All of his performances are pretty good. And I mean, you know. But I'm a little upset still. Cause logic easily shut up one! mad this year that was my new year's resolution i'm not raging anymore it's not gonna happen you know i just got a little upset my last stream i just got a little upset wasn't a rage not at all remember to like and subscribe remember to like and subscribe check out the grammys if you have it and remember Remember, when life gives you lemons, you make orange juice. Real Swan Pete is signing off. Oh my god. Ah! way from equal to static treatise. Body of a builder with the mind of a fetus. Turn on the television and see the vision they feed us. And I wish I could erase that face facts.